Hello guys, Chance here. Um, and I have something I want to talk about today. And that is the fact that I'm not signed to a record label. And for those of you that are wondering, no, I will not accept a non paying record label. Because I've dealt with record labels like that before, and they've all screwed me over so badly to where I've almost had to quit music. Because they felt like they could take advantage of me and use me. And that's why I will not sign with a record label that does not pay. I refuse. As a matter of fact, I used to co-own one and was a CEO of the record label Killer Clown Sounds, which was founded by myself and my good friend, still to this day, even though I do not work with them, Eric Scrubbler. Like, me and him still remain good friends, I just don't work with his label anymore because he doesn't pay. And he understands that. But, you know, I've been taken advantage of way too many times. I refuse to sign to a non-paying record label. And for those of you that are wondering why I'm not signed, it's because of my physical appearance. See, record labels don't like how I look. So they figure they can bully me and bash on me and tear me down to where I will not be assigned to a label and to where I'll give up. But the thing is though, I'm not giving up. I refuse to give up. You see, I've been doing music since 2010. I started doing music back in February of 2010. And I've been doing it ever since. And some of you may be wondering, you know, hey, Chance, do you work? To answer your question, no, I currently do not work. And there's a reason for that. You see, a few months ago, my mom was struck by a car. She was sent 10 feet and now has severe problems and is almost, almost disabled. So while our roommate goes to work during the daytime, I stay at home to help take care of her. So I can't work. I wish I could, but I can't, because I have to stay here at home and I'll take care of her. So I dedicate my entire life every day to doing what I love best, which is music. From the time I get up in the morning to the time I go to bed at night, I'm always working on something musically. My literal schedule in the morning is wake up, grab coffee, check emails, check Facebook notifications, sit down, start writing songs. And then that night, during the night, when everybody else is asleep, you know, I sit down and I record my music. And then I release it that next morning. Um, the album I'm currently working on right now is called Haunted Reality. It's more of a, it's going to be my first ever all melodic scream or metalcore, as some of you might call it, album. And this album is different than most because it touches base on some very sensitive subjects of my past, like suicide, the loss of a friend, um, you know, some very dark places in my past that I have been down, and you know, everything like that. I'm two songs deep right now. I'm hoping to have it done by the end of this week. I'm hoping. Um, it also depends on what I have going on. So hopefully I'll get something done. But, you know. See, most people wonder why I don't make money, and it's because I don't have a job. And you, I just told you guys why I don't have a job. And, you know, 
the thing that's very untrue is the fact that you have to spend money to make money. That's not true at all. I know several artists who have came from nothing. Like literally nothing. And made it to where they're at. Like my good friend John. John Scam Wayne, also known as Will Scam. He was recording out of the back of his car, homeless, for several years, for almost six years. And now look at him. He's touring locally and statewide where he's at. Because somebody gave him a chance. And for those of you that are wondering why I'm not signed, it's because record labels want to bash on me and talk crap about me. They don't like how I look. They think that with my physical appearance, I wouldn't make it. And everybody's always like, oh, well, why don't you wear a mask? Well, I don't believe in wearing a mask, okay? Why should I hide who I really am? Why should I hide who I am from the world? I don't want to hide my face. I don't want to hide the real me. I want people to see the real me. When I step on that stage, I want people to be able to see my face and be like, yes, I know this guy. I know this artist. I look up to this artist. And I know a lot of you are thinking, hey, well, why don't you start up your own record label? Well, I want to. I really do, but I can't. Reason why? I don't have a fan base. And I'm working on that. Because see, without a fan base, I have nothing. So I'm hoping that with this video, you guys will pass it around and share my story. And help me get somewhere with it. Because, you know, music is my life. It's my livelihood. It's what I love. It's what I eat, sleep, and breathe every day. I mean, yes, I got some calendar, like an anime art calendar that I'm working on that I did dedicate to Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park, God rest his soul. But, you know, for the most part, music's my life. It's what I live for. It's what I do. It's what I'm good at. It's the one thing that I'm best at that I can get up in the morning and say, hey, this is my job, even though it doesn't pay right now. This is my work. This is what I do. This is what I strive for every day. Is to have that chance that not many have. That are like me. That are special needs. To make it on stage. And yes I'm special needs. Cause see I was born 2 pounds 12 ounces. Or no. 2 pounds 5 ounces. My bad. I got that mixed up. But I wasn't supposed to live as a baby. I was supposed to die the day I was born, but because my mom took me home, my mom, who by birth is my grandmother, who took me in, she then became my mother. My real parents couldn't take care of me. My biological father, he went to jail the day I was born, for God knows, but I still don't know what he went to jail for to this day. And my biological mother, she did not have the mental capabilities to take care of me. So, you know, I was raised by my grandmother who, when she adopted me, became my mom. So I was raised by my mom my entire life. My adoptive dad, even though he was military, he was never really around. He still isn't around to this day. I went down to Florida back in 2014 to visit him. Worst mistake I could have made. Me and him no longer speak because of that. But, you know, aside from that, I've dedicated my entire life to doing music. It's what I love. It's what I'm good at. It's the one thing that I can wake up and say, hey, I can make a difference with this. But unless somebody finds me a paying regular that will pay me each month for my music and what I release, then I'm not going to get anywhere. Yes, I want to get signed to a record label. 
But in order to do that, in order for me to accept that, they have to pay. Because I've been screwed over by non-paying record labels before. And I'm tired of that happening. I'm tired of being screwed over. But, you know. I've been doing music since 2010. And it's now 2017. And that's a long time to be doing music. I've literally been doing music non-stop, every day. I've put in the hard work, I've done the sleepless nights, I even still do sleepless nights time to time, putting in work. Everybody on my friends list says I need to be signed, and they're right. So if you're out there and you're watching this, and you know of any record labels, that will pay me or is even willing to take me on and is willing to help me get somewhere to where I can get paid and then you know please share this video around share this video around to your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, everybody annoy people with it, bug people with it until they hate you for it I want my story to be known I want to make a change in the music industry I want to show people that yes, even if you are special needs, you can make it. I don't care if the record label is a small independent label that pays. I don't care. As long as they pay me for what I do, that's all that matters to me. And the reason why I want to get paid is because, you know, I've worked hard for it. I've worked hard for what I do. My only means of doing my music right now is my Kindle Fire, which I am currently speaking to you on, and my desktop computer. That's all I have. I have nothing else. Instrument-wise, I have two acoustic guitars and a harmonica. That's it. But, you know, that's my life. So if you guys do know of any record labels that's willing to sign, let me know, please. If they pay me, if they're willing to pay me, or bring me on for free and sign me and pay me, please let me know. If you know of any A&Rs or any kind of representatives, let me know. As I said, I do dubstep. I'm a, I'm a melodic scream vocalist. I'm a punk rock singer. And I also produce my own stuff. Like my own beats, instrumentals, everything. So please, guys, I'm asking you to please share this video around to everyone. Because I don't have money. All I have is my skills with music. That's all I have. And we, we are just barely getting by on bills. We're barely getting month to month. And I want to change all that. I want to have a better future for my family. I want to be able to pay for my mom's doctor's bills. I want to be able to make it to where we can stop getting by, just barely getting by month to month and get by several months in advance. We're just barely making rent each month. I'm the type of artist that will sit down I'll write a song, I'll record it, and if I feel that instrumental is not right, I will tear it down and rebuild it as many times as I have to until I get it right. I'm that artist that would go out of the way to record and record and record and re-record my songs until I get them perfect. I'm that artist that puts in work. So if you're a record label that's watching this, and that's the kind of artist you're looking for. I'm just what you need. But with that being said, guys, this is a chance. As I said, please share this around to everybody. Like, share this to everyone that you can. Because I want the world to know my story and how these record labels bash on me for my physical appearance daily. I want the world to know how they are literally, you know, discriminating against me, 
because of my physical appearance. So please guys, I beg you and urge you to please share this video with everyone. Let my story be known. Let the world hear my story and what I have to offer. And if you guys want to hear my music, the link to my newest song called From Start to Finish, it's my newest and actually the second song off of my new music, off of my brand new, you know, metal album called Haunted Reality. The link for that video, or not the video, but the song will be in the description, both the YouTube link and the SoundCloud link. Um, I do have other ones like a couple covers that I did, one of them being Evanescence, another one being Upon a Burning Body, and the final one being Linkin Park's Crawling, which is my tribute to Chester Bennington. So with that being said guys, this is Chance, and like I said, I hope you guys share this video around. This has been Chance, thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you guys later.